And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another episode of Let's Play the Seventh Saga. I am joined as always by Necro and Valsu, his trusty companion, and apparently nothing seems unusual. Let's go check out that grave. It said it was my grave. I don't trust it anymore though. We did defeat Mecha Python, Metal Python, I've already forgotten which one I made up. And now it's his grave. So it was Metal Python, so yeah, he sucks, and I killed him. So it's his grave now. But we are continuing on in the Cave of Silence, and hopefully I will come across the moonlight here somewhere. Because I don't want to go anywhere else and have to find it somewhere else. Okay, so we're going up and up and up. And what do we find here? Potion 3, always nice. And a mosquito, not, not quite as nice. I hope when I get there and open up the chest that it doesn't pull another- Oh, somebody stole it! Oh no, whatever are we going to do? Oh, that sucked. So, oh, but here we are. And what do we find here? We find the epic wind moonlight, apparently. Alright, so that is definitely the end of this dungeon for me. I will get those other items off screen. I'll let you know what they are. And I will meet you back in the town of Wanta, which is the last town we were in before we came into this cave. Be right back. And we're back in the town of Guanta. You can tell because it's practically still snowed in here. Uh, those treasure chests that I missed and I said that I would be getting off screen, I did get off screen and as I got them I realized that I had actually gotten them on screen before. Like I said, I had to go through the dungeon twice uh, because I lost the recording of the boss fight and I didn't drop a save anywhere in the meantime so i did get those on screen uh you guys did see all the treasure chests in there so we are going to go talk to the sage in guanta see what is going on hey dude i got that thing yes it is the thing did you get the thing that i sent you yes dude you said you couldn't Oh, uh, great. Alakazam! Abracadabra Alakazam? Nothing? Light of day? What? Take this silly curse away! Oh, he made it rhyme. Oh, he's just a total douche. Alright, so our magic power has returned, and we get the epic calm music, and the curse is gone. The rune? Gorsha! Oh, okay. So why are we getting the runes again? Is Gorsha like coming back? Cause nobody's really mentioned it. I'm just saying. God, why why are you staring at empty space over there? There there's nothing over there. Whatever. Okay, so he's apparently not gonna tell us where we need to go next because he sucks and I don't like him very much. But I already know where we're supposed to go. So I'm actually gonna try to level up. Yes, I need to level up again. I did get Necro up to 36 while I was still in the cave there. Thalsu did get up to 35, but I need Necro up to at least 38, so I'm gonna level him up off screen, of course, and I will meet you right outside the town. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. Necro is up to level 38 with a ton of gold and a ton of stats. Look at that guard, 192 guard. Valsu is up to level 36. He'll be getting up to level 37 probably on the way to our next destination. He does have 154 magic 
awesome now especially since we can use the magic and I did stock up on pretty much every item that I could find Look at that nine of damn near everything they don't sell recoveries anywhere that I could remember so I didn't get that I still have eight of those though MR twos I didn't really think I needed a ninth one of those but besides that nine of everything still didn't use that protection seat I'll probably still use that off screen at some point so we are in the town of Quanta and it is time to move north and east actually east is the way that we want to go we're pretty much going to the last part of the world that we have not seen yet we have removed a curse we have six of the seven runes and now we're on our way to get the seventh rune going to fight the guy from the dark world Goriso. and if i know anything about my rpgs and i know very little we will probably find Gorsha there after we defeat Goriso. So let us go. This this little cave was flashing. That means there's a rune here. Let's go find it. I want to go left. And there are a couple new enemies here that I wanted to show you guys. And here are both of them. Oh, this is going to suck. Let's see what I can do here. Let's start, as always, with a Moon Rune on Necro. He will be doing all of our damage pretty much here. Oh, that's a cheap-ass spell. Okay, let's go for this guy in the middle here. He usually has some kind of revive spell. And he runs off because he sucks. He knows he sucks. Let's get Star Runes down. One on Necro. Oh, it was a red flame this time. Uh, let's go for you. Maybe I can finish you. No, not in one shot. Oh, I am so lucky to have dodged that. That thing does a lot of damage. Let's go for another star rune on Valsu this time. Get everything all healed up. And man, these guys are dodging like champs. Let's finish him off. Oh, 101 damage. Let's start getting some star runes down or it's not star runes some water runes start getting some healing done attack oh got the crit and i killed two k moons i and the undead is the name of the thing that ran away i don't know what k moons is they're killer moons they don't sail on the moon, though. That's that's an entirely different thing. Moving on! What have we got up here? We've got... A dragon. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and heal up, and then we will fight this blue dragon. Alright, let's do this! What is up, dragon? Grr? Really? is all you got all right and he looks exactly the same in battle so no surprises there and uh spoiler alert this guy is immune to all physical damage you definitely need the magic curse lifted if you even stand a chance of fighting this guy you know what this is a time for Valsu to shine ice one is actually his best attack spell I kid you not look at all this stuff none of this attacks let's try the fire shield actually I don't I don't think I've ever used that see yeah it's a friendly spell so really ice one is his best attack so let's go for it we've raised his magic and it still just does 35 damage all right let's go for you know what, let's go for a light rune on yourself, Necro, because I have a feeling that we're going to need some of your magic as well. And of course, he's immune to all sorts of status ailments. Magic, Ice Wand. 33 damage for the win! Except not really. Let's go for a fire too. Also did 33, Necro does 14 with a better spell. That's all I'm saying. This is, this is not looking good. But 
He doesn't seem like he's got that great of attack. So I should be able to whittle him down eventually. This is uh, not the most exciting battle, I must admit. Oh, and he healed himself like a douche. Oh, bosses are not allowed to heal themselves. Go ahead and use the water rune. You're not doing that great of damage anyways. There we go. Dick. Oh, he knows I need that MP. Luckily, that's why we have the sky rune, which I don't know if I've ever shown on screen before. This is what it looks like, and it heals MP. Oh, you're a freaking dick, man. That's it. Take a fire two to the face for 17 damage. How do you like that? Oh my gosh. This is gonna take forever. You know what? Pretty much seen how this is going to work. Uh, I'm just gonna cut ahead to when he's almost dead, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we're an hour and a half into this battle. And like 10 minutes maybe. 5 10 minutes tops. Alright. And this should be pretty close to the end here. Oh, just one little sliver of health. Oh, he's such a dick. Why won't you die? Die to an ice one, the basic ice spell. That's what you get, Monmo, you douche. But Valsu does level up because of it. The three magic would have been real useful before this fight started, you freaking priest. Anything here? Nothing here. Alright, let me heal up off screen and then we'll move on. Alright, moving on. Let us go to a battle. So we did defeat a reskin of the dragon. What are we going to be fighting next? A reskin of Doros, maybe? Gold Pison? I'm just saying, game. I'm just saying. Reskins are the thing, apparently. The hell? Like a castle? Okay, so I will be ending the video here, so find out what is inside this castle next time on Let's Play The Seven Saga. I've been Baller Scuba, I hope you laughed, hope you learned, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.